what up so we had a great weekend training there was a lot of information did you learn anything yeah definitely i'm jason i'm from raleigh north carolina so where this training has gone um taking place been in the industry for a little while part-time so i wanted to come and meet jason and donovan in person you know establish that relationship and getting some training on uh some of the other items that were here all weekend long it was a fantastic three days here i learned a ton even in pressure washing being in the industry already I learned a lot about safety christmas lights you know just tons of education the relationships were awesome that i got to learn from as well too i uh, really recommend coming to one of these if you get the chance and the opportunity to albert Mariano and I'm from Massachusetts. So what did you learn this weekend? Anything that you that you can start grow a business? Yeah, definitely. I learned out um, how to use the equipment. I was like, really didn't know how to do that stuff. I'm but wait a minute, I thought it was just a pressure washer and you just start spraying, right? Yeah, no, it's not like that. <laughs> so what is something that you learned that was like an aha moment, anything like that? Just like, to be honest, uh, a lot of people complicate the pressure washer industry and I'm the type of guy who's literally starting with nothing. I like, I pride myself on starting like super minimal to try and climb. This was a two day course, it's a little bit more more intense. Did you feel overwhelmed at all? Kind of a little bit. Uh, a lot of information to be uh, taken in. Pressure I, washing is just spraying water, right? Nah, there's a lot more to it than that. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about who are you, where are you from, and that kind of stuff. Uh, my name's Ed Yates. Married uh, for 29 years. I uh, live in uh, Concord, North Carolina. Just starting my business. Uh, fresh new business. So wait a minute. You've been married for 29 years? You've been married longer than some of the guys in our course. Yeah. What made you think that being in your 50s that you would want to start a pressure washing business. I've been a skilled tool and die maker for 36 years. I've been uh, thinking uh, the last 10 years about starting a business and it's just uh, timing's right now. Uh, kids are grown, they're out of, uh, you know, they're on their own and uh, it just works out well right now. Are you confused at all? A little bit. <laughs> my name's Peyton, I'm from North Dakota, way up north. Class is really good, learn a lot of stuff. Um, my favorite thing about the class is all these guys will sit here afterwards with you, answer all your questions and, uh, really help get you started. What's one thing in the pressure washing class that you didn't know that was like an eye opening of, ha ha, that's a lot easier than I thought or something like that. Just, you know, getting getting your first system set up or whatever, you know, not having to get the whole trailer, you know, like I, I knew kind of what I wanted to do and now I know exactly how to set it up. Instead of sitting home, trying to watch videos and figure it out when the season's already started, I could just go and already have it ready, hit it when springtime comes. My name's Nick, I'm from Maryland. What did you learn in the pressure washing class? What was really important was a lot of the safety that helped out and how to network and get my name out there, maybe work with other companies. And did you get your pressure washer running that while you were down here? I did, you, there, was, <laughs> there was a sales guy down here that helped you out with uh, stuff like that and I uh, dropped off my truck and he should have it up and running. Jason Guyman here with Mr. Steve, right? That's right. So tell me what have you learned this weekend? A lot. I mean, we learned about pressure washing. We learned about the different types of ways to pressure wash with X-Jet and downstreaming and all that good stuff. Today, we're doing a little bit of the Christmas lights and this is where all the fun begins. So what did you do before you became wanting to do pressure washing? I do roofing, mainly roof repairs. Roofing. And what did you learn? What was the one thing in the pressure washing class that was like helped you, that you know that's going to help you start and grow your business the shingle cleaning trying to clean the roofs the roof yep. and did you like the hands-on portion or definitely did that definitely help made it a whole lot a whole lot easier to remember and be able to put it into action giovanni reynolds so what have you learned in the last two three days i've learned too much honestly <laughs> There was so much information, but it's really great information. The first day, we're learning about pressure washing, the different ways to go, different surfaces, different techniques that we could use, downstream, X-Jet, soft wash, just a whole nine yards. The second day, then we went over gutter cleaning. And you think it's as simple as just hopping on the roof? It's not that simple, but there's money to be made in it. And then today, we're out here struggling, you know, trying to do a, uh, a tree with a pole. Jason makes it look a little too easy. <laughs> And then we're out here just sweating and having some difficulty, but it's fun and there's a lot of money to be made in it. I have Mr. Lewis here. He drove all the way down from, where'd you drive down from? Cleveland, Ohio. How was the class and did you learn anything? Yes, I did. The class was very good. It really helped us with uh, remembering a lot of the safety stuff that you think you know all the time, but there's nothing wrong with remembering and uh, touching those uh, forgetful 
times where you right. think you know it and but yes it was very good so what was one thing that you learned that was like that was the worth every penny that i paid if you're going to be doing christmas lights when uh, you put the ladder and it has to be a two by two four, right. a two by four four by one four by one uh that was a nice reminder because used to work on roofs it was worth it right there because uh you need to teach your employees if you're gonna go that route if they see you that you're not doing it they will do it. My name is Brian Fletcher. I'm from uh, Cleveland, Tennessee. Did you learn anything? I learned a lot. I learned that I want to do this pressure washing. I'll learn it tomorrow that I know I want to do the lights. But yeah, I learned I learned a lot about the pressure washing, the ins and outs, marketing, and uh, it's an excellent class. I would uh, recommend it highly to anyone that's uh, even thinking about uh, getting involved in this business. What is one thing that you thought you knew that you didn't know? One thing that I thought I knew that I didn't know, I thought I knew how to pressure wash. Wash with, the, wash with the concrete, but I missed a strip, and so I uh, evidently, I don't know that much about it. <laughs> but but uh, I've always washed incorrectly, and it's nice learning how to wash correctly, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited about that. My name is Robert Pegram. I'm from um, Yorktown, Virginia. I've been doing lawn care since 2014. We've been always wanted, you know, all addicts and all other services to go year round. We were thinking, you know, pressure washing and gutter cleaning, Christmas lights. And so what is one thing that you learned that you thought you knew that you didn't know? Processes. That's, that's, that's a big one. I mean, for me, it's, that's one thing our business really fails at, it's processes. We've got a whole lot of help. And it's being able to touch all the equipment. It's different. You don't usually get that in any of the other trainings. You can't watch that on the YouTube page. Right. It was a great day, was it not? Oh, yeah. Very. What did you learn today? Anything? I learned a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I was watching these videos for the last three months. And this class really put things in perspective. Because I'm a guy up. I got to know why. You know, you you know, anybody, can just, you can just tell me, you know, you got to do it. I need to find out why, right. what's happening, what's going on, why it's happening. Did I, mean, I make sure that you know why, why you did. things are you happening? Did. You did. You put everything in perspective. And good to know what not to do. Because, you know, that's my fear. You know, going out there, all right, if I run into this problem, this happened, this happened. I mean, you, you gave good ideas, all right. This may happen, this may happen. You explain it all, so that's 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 one of the big things that I like about the class. New what Jersey. is it again? Barack. Barack. Yeah. Clifton, New Jersey. Tell me a little bit something that you learned today that you didn't know or what the class has helped you be able to do. Okay, so I'll, I'm in the market to get a new 12-volt pump, and I really didn't know the sizes, didn't know what valves to go with, but now I have a better understanding, and I know that I'm confident enough to go out and get everything I need, and I'll be ready for the spring. You came to this class for a 12-volt pump? Yeah. I, I came here, actually, to make more friends. Same okay. mindset, get more accountability. How old are you? Uh, 23. So you're 23 yeah. years old, and you're going to be an entrepreneur? Yeah, it looks like it. Is there anything with the hands-on type of thing that helped you make sure that you understood everything? Everything. Absolutely. We went through everything from power wash to soft washing and just doing it hands on the first time and seeing from other people's mistakes and learning from yours as well. It's just a great learning experience. I guess I'm here to let older people know that it's never too late to go uh, back into business again for self-employed. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. When I came here, the reason I chose this, I was thinking of maybe waiting off till January and going to the event down in Orlando, but I don't know if you're going to have the Christmas lunch. And uh, the uh, other additional uh, part of this class was the gutter clean. So it's like like three businesses that you're learning how to implement and use so it can actually help you keep rolling all year, year round. Right. Even though I'm from California, I don't plan on going back there. It's too, it's going too left-wing socialist and uh, taxes are through the ceiling. So I came out east for work. I'm a welder, so it's been good to me every time, ever since I've been out in Virginia, which is stationed out of Norfolk. But you said? I said, I gotta give Jason five stars. I've been following him for the last year. Great class, wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. He says he's the best in the business. He, he means it, and it's true. My name is Reggie Bryce. I'm from Raleigh, from here. I'm actually from Cary, but I live in Raleigh, which is about 20 minutes away. Is there anything that you learned today that you didn't know? I would say yes. On the marketing side, that's the, the main key ingredient. It's just one of the things I learned. That's what it's really going to take to grow and succeed and to run a business, a company. Um, you got to, if the phone's not ringing, the equipment don't mean nothing. It <laughs> don't mean a thing. What is one thing that you took away from the class today? You have to take action. You can plan and plan and plan and talk and talk, but until you take action and you make it happen, nothing's going to happen. Exactly. exactly.